Our gathering hymn is number 561, Taste and See, number 561. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since many boast according to the flesh, I too will boast. To my shame I say that we were too weak. But what anyone dares to boast of, I also dare. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they children of Israel? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I am still more with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, far worse beatings, and numerous brushes with death. Five times at the hands of the Jews, I received 40 lashes minus one. 
Three times I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, three times I was shipwrecked. I passed a night and a day on the deep, on frequent journeys, in dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own race, dangers from Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at sea, dangers among false brothers, in toil and hardship through many sleepless nights, through hunger and thirst, through frequent fastings, through cold and exposure. And apart from these things, there is the daily pressure upon me of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is led to sin, and I am not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, from all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy, <coughs> and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven, what neither moth nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there also will, will your heart be. The lamb of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light is in you, is in darkness, how great the darkness, how great will the darkness be. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus It is said that Alexander the Great, the man who credited with conquering the whole world, 
on his return back to his homeland Macedonia he died on the way before his death he told his companions put both my hands outside the boat so that people may see I'm not carrying anything with me the liturgy today speaks about the irony of life the gospel says where your treasure is there your heart will be which means we spend a lot of time and energy for what we consider the most important thing in our life we'll listen to the beautiful first reading from Paul Paul shares his life experience now before the conversion Paul was proud of being a Pharisee well educated in Torah so he learned both Torah as well as Hellenistic philosophy or the Greek philosophy but he says when he came to know the love of Christ Paul says in his own words he says all these things I consider rubbish means all these things became unimportant for him and today's reading he says even if I were to boast I will boast about my weaknesses you know, as human beings we are proud of what we do our accomplishment our achievements what we have but not not anything bad not anything bad but the gospel says go beyond us it's good to have all these things but do not remain there go beyond it store up pressure in heaven which means give first priority to the creator rather than any other creatures as we continue this Eucharistic celebration the liturgy of today invites you and me to give first importance in our lives to the creator rather than what we are or what we do Please rise. Let's place our praise and petitions before the Lord, asking His blessings for Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the leaders of the Church. We pray to the Lord. Christians all over the world may realize the truth of life, giving first place to the Creator and Him alone we pray to the Lord we pray for plentiful rain and a bountiful harvest we pray to the Lord for the sick and suffering especially members of our parish family we pray to the Lord peace for peace in the world we pray to the Lord in the silence of our hearts let's place our personal intentions before the Lord
Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Ronald Mueller, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our praise and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds us about the need to give first place in our life to the Creator. Grant us the grace in all what we do. We may give glory and honor to the one true God. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good for all his holy church oh God who in the offerings presented here provide for the true fold needs of human nature nourishes us with the food and renewing us with your sacrifice with your sacrament grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit. lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord. let's give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your son and the power of the Spirit you gather them against yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity may the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we acclaim
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring under the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our lead is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternity. A prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you. So may it bring about unity in your church through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. We shall pray together. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Our sending hymn, number 775, All the Earth, number 775. <clears throat>